So as we've been covering this, it's been so hot, so uncomfortable lately. So we, we want to work for our planet by suggesting something that works for you too. Cooling down at the beach, of course, it's a great idea. But when you're outside, you always want to put on that sunblock, lather it up. You may not realize not all sunblocks are created equal. In fact, some can really damage our oceans. There are chemicals in certain sunblocks that can hurt fish, can hurt our coral reef. So it is best to look for simple ingredients. The more natural sunblock the better also make sure what's in your sunblock is reef safe so that's your working for our planet tip for this week make sure it is reef safe now the reason why a lot of coral reefs are threatened is because of chemicals and because of pollution so show us your sunblock uh, in fact I just checked save the reef.org and they say the key is to find an SPF that uses physical UVA and UVB filters as opposed to the chemical ones you'll be able to find them by looking at the tube check the ingredients zinc oxide and titanium dioxide these ingredients are what to look for they actually block the sun by creating this shield on your skin as opposed to chemicals that might try to do the same those chemicals can hurt the coral reef so send us a picture of your sunblock to cbs8.com uh, there's a uh, an area on the app in fact that you can upload a photo under the near me section you can always get eco-friendly tips as well at our website cbs8.com earth 8.